My roommate is not home. This is really odd. And she's not coming home tonight. I don't know how I'm gonna sleep. I feel like a carnivore. I'm a carnivore. I mean, I just ate, like, so many hot wings. That was ridiculous. But yeah. Ugh, my face! You can't really see it. But it's like, it's like red, all like here. From work. I feel like it's been like eight years since I've made a boys and boys video. It's only because I've been working like every single day. I work Thursday, Friday, which was Christmas. You know how I said it wasn't working Christmas? Ended up working Christmas. Only half a day, but still, it was, it was working. Um, didn't work Saturday. Had the train though. Work Sunday, work today. We had 315 kids on the board, plus walk ins. I had eight kids. Six and seven year olds who were moose who couldn't really do anything. They like could barely do pizza. And the snow, it was snowing and it was warm and it was sticky and it was ah! <laughs> I almost had a heart attack and nobody really tipped. I think the one parent said something about leaving a tip at the desk or whatever. I was just like, whatever. And I've had like a scratchy throat all day and I feel sick and I don't know, like every morning I get like, I think it's because I'm not eating breakfast, but I feel like I'm gonna puke when I'm driving to work. Uh, oh, you can kind of see it. You see the line? Looks like I have a tan, but I don't. It hurts a lot. Alright, I guess I should get to the actual question. Um, I kind of changed it around a little bit, because I tell all my friends about my trans status. Um, how do you feel when people perceive you as male and you have to make up stories about your high voice, etc.? This has only really happened to me a couple times, and I basically just go, oh, I have hormone problem. Um... But mostly people just perceive me as female, which really bugs me. Or they perceive me as male and they don't ask questions. But like, I've noticed at work that all the parents come up to me and they, they'll she me. And it's like, I've only gotten heed, like, by one parent or something. I don't know. It's really annoying and bothersome. I mean, I had kids heeing me the other day and then... Ugh, I don't know. Have you ever met a girl named JT? I swear to God. It's kind of really annoying, and it's really bothersome, and it kind of makes me want to just, like, back off and not work anymore, because I'd like to be perceived as male if I am, you know, going by JT. Um, I also got a <laughs> funny story. Um, my supervisor birth named me today, and I sort of looked around, and I was like, who are you talking to? And she was just like, oh, JT! It was so funny. I love it. I don't know. It's like, I feel bad, like, pressing on them. But I kind of have to, and it's just like, ugh. I don't know, I really need a day to relax. They need to send me home one of these days. It'd be nice. Like, we had a hundred, a hundred and maybe 20-ish kids yesterday. We went from 120 kids yesterday to 300 plus today. It was so ridiculous. Oh my god. I went from having three kids yesterday who were awesome and amazing to having eight bratty, ugh. You can tell I have a lot of pent-up angst about my job. I mean, I'm just exhausted. Like, um, I haven't done this much physical work ever. Like, I'm so lazy. It's just like, oh my god. <sighs> my face really hurts. It's really hot, like I have sunburn, but I don't... Kaden, I'm not doing the CDs of the decade thing. Because it's ridiculous. Um, Adam... Have you ever had a trans dream? It all depends on what you mean. I mean, I don't think I have. I'm always kind of just myself in my dreams. I did have a really weird dream the other night that I got drunk on vodka. Like, legit. Like, I was drunk. And, like, people were like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Are you drunk? And I was like, hey, yeah. I never drink. And, um, yes, yeah, so that was really weird because I don't drink. And, like, I guess I told off my boss. I guess I told him I was going to quit. And then I went, like, crying. Back to the other boss. I was like, I had alcohol. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to quit. Blah, blah. And then Anne had a dream about drinking a beer. So, I don't know if that means anything. Probably because we're actually doing stuff on New Year's. So that's like not like home or whatever. Like we're going to be around people who are drinking probably. I know I will. I'm going to a friend's house and everyone's going to be wasted. Except for me. <sighs> I don't really have much to say. I don't really have any questions or anything. I think Adam will kill me if I ask, what are you doing on New Year's Eve? But I think I will anyways. So what are you doing for New Year's Eve? I'm going to my friend Courtney's house. 
I have to work the next morning. And we're supposed to be a storm. Courtney's house is in Albany. It's gonna be exciting. Yep. So I'm doing that. Sorry. I'm like eating and licking my fingers. It's really gross, but you can deal. Oh my god. One more thing to bitch about before I go. About work. I wear my two binders. You know, like, they're over there. I think, where are they? Okay. I wear my double front, right? And then I wear my tri top over it. So it's like, argh, and it like kills my shoulders. And you can tell I'm like not binding right now since I'm waving them around in the hair. That's because my fucking body's like, holy shit, muffins. Oh, it sucks. But it's not as bad as I thought it was, so... Anyways, I'm gonna go. This is over five minutes long. Don't forget, my question is, what are you doing on New Year's Eve? Adam, feel free to strangle me. Alright.